All right, so this is one of two pigs that I bought off of meat and bone, and this is a Segovian style suckling pig. And what makes this fit that criteria of being Segovian style is this pig has to have lived its whole life on its mom's milk. It has to be between the ages of two to six weeks old, and it cannot surpass 10 pounds. This one in particular is nine and a half pounds. The other one I have is like 8.8 .8 pounds. So pretty good on the spectrum of being close to that 10 pound range. As you see here, I'm cutting along the spine so I can butterfly this open a lot more, a lot easier. And then at the end, when you serve this up and you cut down from the back, it's easier to serve that way. It's easier to cut into it. So uh, as far as membrane goes, you don't really have to worry too much. There's this one piece that you see me pulling off here. And obviously on the other side, the same piece. And uh, the membrane that goes along the ribs, leave it alone, don't worry about it. It's not gonna bother anything. And it's very, very hard to pull off. I guess if you wanna take your time and do it, you can, but pretty much the meat is on the other side of them ribs. So you really don't have to worry about that. So I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna try to dry the skin as much as I can. I'm gonna look for anomalies. I'm gonna look for hair or anything like that that the butcher um, didn't get. And that's about it. So when it comes to seasoning up your pig, I'm gonna use salt, pepper, garlic. Feel free to use whatever you want. I'm gonna try it out with this. I'm gonna try it out with something I know works well. And SPG seems to be a very great all-purpose spice. I'm getting in every nook and cranny in the mouth, the tongue, the hams. Don't forget that little hole right there. And uh, that's how I'm rolling. And this is in a sheet pan, aluminum sheet pan, and I'm gonna let it chill in the fridge respectively while I get everything else ready. And as you see here, I've just got potatoes, garlic, and green onions all up in this full size sheet pan. I have some water and one Modelo beer. The beer that you saw on the pig, I actually poured in there. So it didn't go to waste. And here is the minion method. I'm using the 26 inch Weber kettle my modded version Weber kettle. I'm using my 24 inch pizza pan as a diffuser and the Spitfire grilling three in one. And that thing is gonna be my go-to cooker. And here we go. I'm placing, there it is. I'm placing my potatoes on the bottom and it's gonna catch all the drippings and I'm putting both pigs on the top rack. Now, there was 15 different ways I could approach this, and this is just what I decided to do. And I didn't want to go outside the realm of what they do in Segovia. I didn't want to do a rotisserie, and I didn't want to hang it. There's just so many things I could have done, and I just chose to try to keep it as traditional as possible. And there it is, man. It's time to rock and roll. Wait. All right, so from all the videos that I've watched, it seems that they get lard and they brush the skin with it. So I have some lard right here, some Monteca. This is pork lard. And I'm gonna dress it up with some SPG just to get that seasoning in there. And that's what I'm gonna use to brush against the skin. And hopefully it works out for me. We'll see. And there you have it. That's my lard. Oh yeah. 254. It's time to check on these bad boys. The pit temp has been ranging from 275 to 285. I'm good with that. That's perfect. Now it's time to flip these guys over, get all the juices to incorporate into the potatoes and the onions and the garlic. So I'm about to get on that right now. But look at these. Looking nice. Oh yeah. Let's get that all into those potatoes. Oh, they're gonna be good. Come on. One thing's for sure, these little piglets didn't make it to the market, did they? Or not the market that they should have went to. All right, so now it's time to brush them with the lard and that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna brush both of them evenly. And then I've seen some videos where they poke the piglets with either a fork or a knife so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just go ahead and 
take some pokes at the skin and supposedly that's going to help it crisp crisp up as well we'll we'll see we'll see if that works or it doesn't now i'll be honest with you guys while i'm doing this i'm seeing a bunch of juice obviously come out of the pig and i'm thinking that can't be good that's not the way <laughs> i i don't think this is the way to do it but I've seen it in some videos and I've seen great results in those videos. So I'm pushing forward, man. I'm pushing forward. I hope I didn't ruin this. As you can tell, I'm wearing something different. Had enough time to take a shower and come out here and check on these piglets. I probed them at the hams and the shoulders. The shoulders probed at about 200 degrees Fahrenheit and the hams were about 190. I am not going to let these stay on any longer. They are done. Unfortunately, yes, unfortunately, the skin is tough as my work boots. Damn it. I'm super bummed out that the skin did not turn out crispy, but you know, like I've always said, a bad cook is still a good cook because you end up learning from it. You know what not to do next time. And that's what this was. This was my first time trying to go at this. I should have never done two, but I like to go big. That's just the way it's in my DNA. I try to go big on the first shot. And you know what? I learned some stuff out of this. And on my next try, I'm gonna remove the diffuser and put the skin facing the coals during the last 45 minutes of the cook. So that's gonna be the next time. Look, look at that skin. Anybody wanna make some shoes? Oh man, that's just, that's just terrible. Let me take a, a second to just sulk in this miserable content. All right, sulking over. Hey, it is what it is. Man, but it does look good though, right? Right? Look at that. Look at that cute plate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, poor little piggy. All right. All right. So I didn't get the skin crispy like you're supposed to. I don't know what went wrong. At this point, I'm going to move forward. And me and my fiance, we're going to dig into this. And then we're going to find out just how good this cochineal really is. Do we need a knife and fork or do we just drumstick this I think thing? We should drumstick, drumstick it first. Holy shit. Oops. First of all, this skin, disaster. Get off my, whoa. See that? Mmm. Whoa. That was tight. Holy crap. That. Look at this. You see that? Mmm. What a good flavor. You guys see this? It is so tender. So juicy. Mm. Man, too bad I didn't get good chicharron, but you know what? The hell with it. Next time, next time I'll, I'll focus on that. But you know what? Look at this. Baby, try this piece. Tell me what you think. Hold on, hold on. Go for it. Mmm. Yeah? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is so good. Mickey Mouse approve? Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You guys see that? Mmm. Yeah, right? Mm. That's just so good. All right, guys. You know, it sucks that the skin, which is supposed to be one of the best parts of the lechon or the conchinillo or the, the whole hog or whatever. You know what I mean? It, it just it didn't get there. Maybe I could put this back. You know what? Maybe I could deep fry this and turn it into chicharro later. But, you know, for now... For now, look at that. Look at the bone just falling off. Look at that. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's Seasoning amazing. Seasoning was really good, baby. Good job. Salt and pepper and garlic. Mm. Salt, pepper, garlic. I don't know what went wrong with the skin. I watched like 37 videos, all Segovian style, everyone from Spain. And uh, mm -hmm. I try to mimic exactly what they do. It just didn't, I just didn't get it, man. And they do it in the oven too, and they get extremely great results. But you know what? You know what I like about when something doesn't go right the first time? An excuse to do it again, right, babe? That's right. Right? Oh, yeah. Can I buy two more? Again. Oh, yeah. Two more? Yeah, Woo! Babe. You guys heard her, right? You guys heard her? It's going down. Look at this. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let me take this onion down. Mmm. Mmm. All right, guys, if you like what you saw, if you down with this experience that we went on together, then hit that like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and share this video. And until next time, see you later. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Give me five on it. Give me four on it. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs>